Welcome to our lecture online. So here we're going to try to find the voltage between terminals A and B and we're going to use the Thevenin equivalent circuit to do so. Well it turns out that the voltage between A and B with no load is equal to the Thevenin voltage. So when we draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit it will look like this. We have a voltage supply, we have a impedance in series, and then we have terminals A and B. And so we need to find the Thevenin impedance, and then we need to find the Thevenin voltage. And notice that the voltage between A and B is going to be equal to the Thevenin voltage. Alright, so how do we do that? Well, first of all, we take our circuit like this, and we convert it so that we can find the Thevenin impedance. And we do so by removing the, circuit, the source, the current source, and replacing it by an open circuit. Now we find the impedance across A and B, which is essentially the Thevenin impedance. So Z Thevenins, the impedance, the Thevenin impedance, is equal to, well notice going from A to B, we have a parallel circuit. We have this branch, we have that branch, so we use the product over the sum. So we have 8 minus J5 multiplied times J10, and then dividing that by 8 minus J5, uh, plus J10, so it's the product over the sum. So this becomes, we have J times J, which is minus 1 times the minus is plus 1, times 50, which is 50, and then we have plus J80 in the numerator, divided by, in the denominator, it becomes 8 plus J5. So now we convert that to magnitude and phase angle format. So let's grab a calculator. So we have 80 squared plus 50 squared equals, take the square root, that's 94.34. So that's 94.34 with a phase angle of 8 divided by 5, take the inverse tangent, 50, well essentially 58 degrees. Divided by, in the denominator we get 64 plus 25, that would be, oh, look at that, 9.434. That's exactly 10% of that. And the phase angle is uh, 5 divided by 8. Take the inverse tangent, exactly 32 degrees. So this would be equal to 10 with a phase angle of 26 degrees. Yes. All right. So that's the impedance the equivalent impedance of the Thevenin impedance, so we can simply call that 10 with a phase angle of 26 degrees. All right, so now, how do we find the voltage across from A to B? And now we go back to the circuit on the left, and notice that the voltage across from A to B is the same as the voltage across the inductor. So that means that we want to find the voltage across here, which would be equal to the current through there. Let's call that I2, I2 to the second branch. And so we know that voltage from A to B is equal to the Thevenin voltage, which is equal to the current I2 multiplied times the impedance of the inductor, which is J10. So all we have to do now is find I2. How do we find I2? Well, we go back to the circuit, we can say that I2 is equal to I of the source times, so we have current going through here, which is also going through here, as opposed to going through here. So, when we deal with a current divider, we take the impedance of the other branch, which is 8, divided by the sum of the two impedances, which is 8, minus J5 plus J10. So this is I of the source, which is 4 with a phase angle of 0 degrees, multiply times 8, 8 with a phase angle of 0 degrees, divided by, over here we have 8 plus J5, 8 plus J5, like this, and we have that already over here, so that's the same denominator, so this would be 4 times 8, which is 32 divided by, phase angle of 0 degrees, divided by 9.434 with a phase angle of 32 degrees, which is 32 divided by 9.434. That gives us a current through there of 3.392, 
with a phase angle of minus 32 degrees. So now we have I2, the current through the inductor. So now to find the voltage, voltage from A to B, which is equal to the Thevenin voltage, which is equal to I2, which is 3.392 with a phase angle of minus 32 degrees. And we multiply times the, uh, let's see here, um, I'm getting lost here. I'm up here, I2 times J10. So it would be 10 with a phase angle of plus 90 degrees. Multiplying, we get 33.92 with a phase angle of plus 90 minus 32. That would be 58 degrees. And that's the Thevenin voltage. So voltage Thevenin is equal to 33.92 with a phase angle of 58 degrees. It goes up in here, that's our Thevenin voltage, 33, 33.92 with a phase angle of 58 degrees. Make that a little better here, 33. Okay, so now we have the equivalent Thevenin circuit with a Thevenin voltage of 33.92, phase angle of 58 degrees, and the uh, Thevenin impedance 10 with a phase angle of 22 to 26 degrees, and the voltage from A to B is the same as the Thevenin voltage of 33.92 uh, 33 volts and 50, a phase angle of 58 degrees. Might as well put the voltage in there. And that is how it's done. Well, let's find out. Uh, let's see here. Yep, 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 that's correct. 